it is God's will for you to prosper. Say it. It's God's will for me to prosper. Come on, say it again. It's God's will for me to prosper. Come on, one more time. It is God's will for me to prosper. Right living and right giving goes hand in hand. A lot of times people will live a sloppy, ungodly life as a Christian, but they'll come to church and give and try to claim the blessing because they gave something in the offering bucket. And I'm here to tell you that right living and right giving goes hand in hand. Do you understand? Please hear me today. Your living can disqualify your giving. It doesn't make a difference how much money you give. It doesn't make a difference how many people you bless. If your heart is not right, it impacts the quality of your offering. And this is a challenge to all of us because I don't want you to be doing things and frustrated and say it's not working. It'll work for you. It'll work for me if we'll do what the word of God says for us to do. Can you say amen to that? Your best is no good if you haven't obeyed. More than anything, I want you in position to receive everything that God has for you. It's not going to happen through wishful thinking. It's going to happen through obedience to God's word. There are things that God has been dealing with you about to get fixed. And you're wondering why some things are not happening. I'm here to tell you that as soon as you fix the things that he's told you to deal with, that it's going to set in motion some things that are going to come to pass that you've been believing God for. Check your heart. Make sure your heart is right. Your heart is connected to your hand. If your hand, if your heart is not right, it disqualifies what's in your hand. You need to hear that today. If your heart is not right, it disqualifies what's in your hand.